Good Saturday morning, everybody. Live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee, down here in the lower left-hand corner. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik with a quick weather update. This is our video weather blog, our exclusive video weather blog called Weather Overtime. If you've never seen this before, stick around for a lot more. It'll be featured here at WREG.com slash weather and, of course, on all of these social media networks. You can catch me on all those with the forecast, science, general geekery, all kinds of other neat stuff going on. So stick around for more for Forecast for the Memphis and Mid-South area down here in these lines. Right now we've got temperatures just past about 7 o'clock in the morning of about 45 degrees. Today's forecast, beautiful, lots of sunshine out there. And then again for tonight, temperatures back mainly in the mid to upper 50s. Should be a lot of clear skies out across much of the Mid-South. Stick around your complete forecast. For those of you who can't stick around for the whole thing, here's what it looks like and just a general idea as to what the forecast is going to be. Rapid warm-up thanks in part to what we're going to be seeing from the temperature those winds out there today are going to be the main thing that we're going to be taking a look at. We'll be seeing winds out of the south at about maybe 5 to 10 miles per hour early on, and then we'll be seeing some very breezy conditions out there, which are going to do a very good job of keeping the temperatures up throughout the rest of the day today. So if you have any plans for outdoors, definitely want to use today and tomorrow as well. Looks pretty good. We'll talk about that in a little bit. Thanks to everybody for joining us early Saturday morning. Again, this is from News Channel 3 in downtown Memphis, Tennessee share the broadcast netcast here with everybody else and we'll be glad to get everybody along questions drop them into the comments section and I'll do what I can to answer questions about the forecast taking a look at some of the other webcams here and there from the National Mall the National Park System looking over the Potomac River and around the area of the monuments and the Capitol building across the area of the Beltway things are very nice this morning a little bit of sunshine few clouds drifting on through but that's about it purchase knob a little bit more cloud cover in the Great Smoky Mountains National uh, Park looking back to a little bit of sunrise showing up there back toward the eastern parts of the horizon and here in the mid-south Germantown looks pretty nice a little hazy out toward East Memphis that right there that you're looking at that kind of fuzzy conditions out there that's a kind of a level of pollutants that you get uh, showing up every once in a while that you know when the atmosphere settles down overnight cools off the pollutants do a good job of just sticking around the lower sections of the atmosphere when the atmosphere gets warmed up thanks to the sunshine it will disappear and be a little bit less hazy. Keep in mind that also what you're looking at out there into parts of the area is a lot of pollen going on and my sympathies again for everybody who's having a little bit of problems out there these days. Uh, hopefully your antihistamines are kicking in quite nicely. Germantown back in the mid 40s at this point. Rest of the area today again a few more clouds out there but look at the temperatures as we go through mid to late morning and into early this afternoon. Mid to upper 60s by lunchtime today and then getting into the lower 70s. These temperatures right here here. This is about as good as it gets for this time of the year. Uh, right about spot on normal for where we should be about mid to early April or so. So looking quite nice. Plenty of sunshine. Hardly any cloud cover to worry about across much of the Mid-South. Now getting into later on tonight. If you're heading out on the town, it's going to be very nice toward about sunset temperatures again going back into the lower to mid 70s then as we get into around early tomorrow morning numbers will drop off pretty well won't be quite as cold as this morning but there will be some chilly numbers out there past news channel 3 at 10 by tomorrow morning around daybreak we should see temperatures dropping into the lower 50s or so so we should see again some fairly warm conditions out there early but then getting much cooler as we go throughout the rest of the forecast and temperatures again for the metro area forecast bar right down here again showing mid to upper 50s for the metro area so maybe not quite as chilly around Memphis and Shelby County but it will be a little bit on the cooler side especially into around eastern areas of the viewing area as we go into around eastern parts of Mississippi and back into around the Tennessee River Valley that's where we could really see some cool numbers out across much of the area there so that's why you want to take a jacket along with you severe weather threat for today not being seen in the mid-south believe it or not the main severe weather threat is going to be well back to our west. It's going to be around the Great Basin area, back around Salt Lake City, and you're thinking, well, that's got to be a mistake. How can that happen? That is possible, and if you don't believe me on stuff like that, it was 2002 or 2003 that uh, Salt Lake City got hit by a pretty major tornado and caused a lot of damage out that direction. So if you're heading out west, that new storm system heading into the west coast states could cause a lot of problems there. Here in the mid-south, again, through tomorrow, the main threat will be mainly back to our west. We're just not going to be seeing too much of anything going on. 
into much of the area here. Likewise, into around Monday, the threat is going to be way off to the west. We're just not seeing too much of anything going on here, but we may see the possibility of some thunderstorms, and we have to keep this in mind at this time of the year. This is the prime time for severe weather season. Between anything around January through about early May, that's where we can get a decent amount of severe weather taking place. Uh, the main threat for severe weather is now here in this part of the country, but as you can see here in the Mid-South, through at least Monday evening, there's not much going on. The gray color, sort of light grayish green color that you see here, that's just a generic threat of thunderstorms. There's not showing up anything in the way of actual severe weather for the Mid-South, so definitely good news uh, for us on that. Let's take a look at the forecast and show you what we've got going on through Saturday. Uh, temperatures again back into the mid-70s or so, very pleasant very nice out there through about Sunday into Monday temperatures remain very much on the mild side and as we get into around the rest of the forecast can't show you the whole thing computer is getting a little cranky at this point so we can't show you all the forecast here it's going to be about Tuesday that we see again the potential for the best possibility of showers and thunderstorms coming on through that's going to drop the temperature a little bit heading back into the lower 70s or so mid to upper 70s Wednesday Thursday and Friday and then back into the 80s again as we get into around next Saturday or so welcome to everybody who's tuned in to see what the forecast is going to be please share this around on Twitter and Periscope if you'd like to send that around for just a little bit if you'd like to get our weather app it's available at whatever platform you've got search the app store for WREG weather and download it today so you can keep track as to what's going on in the Mid-South where it comes to the forecast. We'd love to have you along for that. Brand new and improved, our webmaster George Brown. Thanks to him for getting all that ready to go. Plus, you can tune into my forecast throughout the weekend on the East Arkansas Broadcast Network stations, Country 92.5 and Oldies 102.3. If you'd like to see more about what's going on with the weather or at least listen to what's going on with the weather, you can find out more at those locations. And, of course, if you've got anything in the way of pictures, uh, weather pictures from the Mid-South area, please send them along. I would be glad to show them around to everybody else on Daybreak and our other weather programs, but I can't show them if you don't send them. So these places right here or up there, you see right above my head, that again is where you want to go to to drop those pictures off. Twitter.com slash Aonic underscore WREG3. Also on all those other social media networks as well. We'll have updates on the rest of the forecast coming up in just a little bit. On News Channel 3 Daybreak will be on until 9 o'clock this morning, so stay tuned for more there with myself and my co-anchor Nina Harrelson. And of course, I'll be on throughout the rest of the weekend for more updates on what's coming your way. Questions, concerns, ideas, comments, complaints, if you absolutely must, send them along to Aonic underscore WREG3 on Twitter or austin.onic at WREG.com. That's my email address and be glad to hear from you. We want to make this your weather blog, so if you, there's something on here you want to see, let me know and we'll see if we can start featuring that as soon as possible. Live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee, I'm meteorologist Austin Onic from the WREG News Channel 3 Weather Center. Stay tuned for more throughout the rest of the weekend on News Channel 3 on air and online. <laughs>